What day here? Hey, and do you know how many passes uh, Finley dropped last year? How many what? Dropped? How many passes Finley dropped last year? Uh, if you were to give five hundred dollars for per dropped pass, that it wasn't. It was like between fifteen and twenty. I believe that's a lot. You think of that money. many? Uh -huh. You think that many? Yeah. Ooh. So that charity's gonna be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but plus he's giving money for touchdowns. He also scores a lot of touchdowns. So maybe this will. You know, watch him not drop a pass now. Those poor kids at that charity. Uh, the rain showers have stayed to the south of us most of the afternoon now. We're getting a break, a much needed break after some heavy rains. Milwaukee, Waukesha, and points to the south last night. Everyone saw the rain last night and early this morning. The heaviest, though, as we expected, closer to the Illinois line. Chicago taking the brunt of it back out towards uh, Rockford, down towards Bloomington Normal, and now the heaviest of the rains moving into Indiana. Yes, still snowing in the Twin Cities and up towards Superior. We don't want the flooding. But how about another foot of snow like they're going to see over there? No thanks. To the graphics we go, and here is that band from just north of the Twin Cities. A foot, 6 to 12 inches of snow up towards Duluth and Superior, all the way up to Thunder Bay. Parts of Wisconsin will pick up 1 to 3. That's from Wausau to Rhinelander. And then maybe 3 to 6 up towards Bayfield. For us, just the rain. But we have now seen the worst of it. This storm system starting to move more off to the east. We'll still see some scattered showers this evening, overnight tonight, and throughout the day tomorrow. And even mixing in with a little bit of snow. I'm going to say it softly, so you, just in case you don't want to hear it. Uh, but yes, there could be a dusting of snow in the morning hours tomorrow, but that will quickly melt if you see any accumulation. How much rain has fallen? Lesser to the north, a half inch to an inch of rain. Two inches or more from Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, over towards Lake Geneva, about two inches of rain also in Burlington. So the heaviest to the south, creating more flood problems, and of course, flood warnings now from Sheboygan, Ozaki, Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, and Jefferson as well. It's just flood watches everywhere else through tomorrow, but not quite as bad as we had expected. A lot of water still fell, almost three inches of rain in some spots, but the heaviest stayed just to the south where the warm front is. Yes, it was supposed to be in the 60s today. Warm fronts do what they want to do. Cold fronts have a nice steady progression, making their path. Warm fronts can put the parking brake on whenever they feel like it, and they did just south of us. It's good and bad. We're in the 40s. The good part of it is, though, the heavy rains stayed around that warm front down towards Chicago. Yes, the waters in the Fox River are high. They are within their banks, however. You can see the sidewalks are just fine here uh, in the Waukesha area. 48 degrees with the calm wind, humidity 100%, so there is some fog. 50s to the south, 40s to the north, and the wind light. That's the good news, not adding insult to injury. But that will change as the storm system moves off to the east. We'll see gusty winds tomorrow, over 30 miles per hour. Wind chills will be in the 20s and 30s with some snowflakes in the morning. Saturday, some sunshine, and we could see an isolated shower once again on Sunday. So here's the forecast for tonight. 34 degrees, scattered showers becoming snow late sometime after midnight. Then tomorrow morning, some snow and rain showers, just all rain in the afternoon with a high of 42. But any additional accumulation would be less than a quarter of an inch of accumulation of rain, that is. 56 on Sunday, 58 on Monday, and we stay in the 50s next week. Yes, there's still rain in the forecast, but not like this. Back right. to you guys. All right, Brian, thanks. Here